What's going on, RBG Fam Bam? Welcome back to our channel. You guys, I'm finally doing a long-awaited food vlog for you guys. And it's an awesome and amazing one because it's the famous teriyaki meatballs. We had these on Sunday when the Rams played and everybody was just like, oh my God, I need more, I need more. I was like walking around with them, just kind of like one after the other. They're so good, you guys. I already went ahead and prepped everything. Before I do tell you the ingredients of the teriyaki meatballs, if you guys are new to our channel, can you please go ahead and subscribe for us and also hit that bell button so that way every time we post, you guys will get notified. I went ahead and prepped everything, like I said, and instead of do, um, doing everything kind of exactly like the ingredients, I went and, ever, and timed everything by three. So instead of one pound of turkey meat, I ended up doing three pounds of turkey meat. Instead of uh, one egg, I did three eggs. And for the chopped green onion, it was one fourth cup, so I ended up doing three fourths cups. For the garlic, um, it was one garlic clove, and I ended up doing three. We also have some ground ginger and one fourth teaspoon, so I times that by three. And we also have some sesame seed oil, this was two teaspoons, so I went ahead and did six teaspoons of this. And then, of course, the breadcrumbs. It was one half cup of breadcrumbs, and I ended up doing a cup and a half. But I kind of messed up because I got Italian panko breadcrumbs, but I'm pretty sure it will still taste okay. It's just a little bit of Italianness in there. But I think the teriyaki sauce might like over kind of overcome that. So super easy, you guys. Basically, I'm just gonna get all these ingredients and add it into this bowl of turkey meat. Eggs chopped onion. There's the cumin and the sesame oil. I'm hoping that it kind of all drips down to there because I did have to pour it in. Done. And then the breadcrumbs. Shake that in there. And then it also says to actually press the garlic cloves. So I didn't want to do that right away. I'm going to go ahead and do that with my garlic presser. <laughs> I just got this and I think it's pretty cool. I've never had one before. I don't even know how to use it at first. I had to figure it out. Wait, is that right? <laughs> There we go. And then I guess you have to like cut this right here. Do you put like the excess like in there too? I never know, so I just like dump it all in there, you guys, I don't know. I just need a little sip of my wine. <laughs> so before I actually put all the ingredients in here, I should have preheated the oven. You do preheat the oven to 400. That's heating up, and basically I'm just gonna mix this together, guys. And I might just go in with my hands. Wait, I should take my ring off. Yeah. So I'd say like the preparation process is what kind of takes like the longest for this. Because after I mix everything in here together, I'm just gonna roll it into little meatballs. Oh crap, <laughs> I don't want that to fall. Put in the oven, I believe for about 10 minutes. And you guys, I'm actually gonna make the teriyaki sauce. I did make these once and I used Sweet Baby Ray's teriyaki sauce. And my cousin was like, you're supposed to make the teriyaki sauce. <laughs> So I'm actually gonna make it for you guys because you guys are special. I'm not gonna cheat. I'm gonna do it the right way, okay? This is really, really cold. I feel like I should put like salt and pepper in here, but it doesn't say to. I'm sure you guys can do this with like a ground meat, or is it ground meat? Ground beef. <laughs> ground beef. Thanks, babe. <laughs> ground meat. <laughs> I just wanna make sure everything is mixed in because it looks like I can see a little bit of the egg right here. All right guys, so now I have my cooking sheet with foil already on it and I'm basically just gonna roll this into meatballs, just like meatballs. Who hasn't seen a meatball? Y'all seen meatballs, right? I mean, if you want, you can have meat, big meatballs or small ones, I don't know, but I'm gonna do medium meatballs. <laughs> There's a meatball. All right guys, so I'm gonna finish this plate right here or this platter right here. I'm probably gonna have to do a couple platters because there's a lot of turkey meat in here, but I will get back to you guys in a minute. All right, fam bam, so there they are. My first rack of meatballs right here. It says 10 to 12 minutes. I'll probably check them about 10 minutes. While these are actually in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the teriyaki sauce because I'm gonna make it for you guys, okay? Here goes the meatballs in the oven. It's very hot. <laughs> oh. All right, 10 minutes on the clock, let's go. All right, fam bam, so it's been about 10, 11 minutes. I'm still not even done prepping the teriyaki sauce, but the meatballs are just about done. So actually they are done, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab them out. I think I need new mittens, these are all dirty. Whew. Okay, 
Yeah, these actually look like they're done. All right, there they are, fam bam. It sucks that I can't have like a pan that has circles in like the pan so then they can come out nice and round. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna place all of these meatballs in this pan here because I'm gonna be cooking the sauce in here. Then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of reload my pan until all of my turkey meat is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with the teriyaki sauce and I'll show you guys exactly how I'm going to make that in just a minute, so stay tuned. All right, fam bam, so I did go ahead and prep all of the ingredients for the teriyaki sauce. So what we have here is um, brown sugar, one fourth cups, but remember I did times all of the ingredients of the turkey meat times three. So I'm doing the same with the sauce so I have enough sauce to cover all the meatballs. So there's my brown sugar. This is my first time ever cooking with this. I believe it's Hossein, Hussein, Hossein sauce. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I've never cooked with this stuff before. So that's that right here. Two um, tablespoons and remember I times that by three. I have the soy sauce here, which I did have one tablespoon times by three as well. A half of um, tablespoon of the sesame oil. Again, we did use this for the turkey meat and we are using it for the sauce as well. It does say um, chop up one garlic clove, so I did three, obviously. And then ginger, um, one eighth and then times that by three as well. So basically, you guys, I'm just gonna put all these ingredients into one pan that our pot that I have right here, mix it together. And then once all of my meatballs are done, I'm gonna throw it all together in this pot right here. So let's go ahead and pour all this stuff into the pan over here. So, brown sugar. I hope I'm saying this right. I think it's like Hossein sauce, something like that. It reminds me of barbecue sauce. Next is the soy sauce, sesame seed oil. Make sure we try to get all of that as well. All right, next is the garlic cloves that I chopped up. And last is just a little bit of ginger, guys. So I'm just gonna mix this all together, let it heat up, and I'm also going to grab out the second batch of meatballs real quick while that boils. All right, so here's the second batch of meatballs. I just wanna give you guys a little tip of kinda like what I did for this batch. I actually took the foil off that was on the last batch and put new foil and then I sprayed some cooking oil. I let it cook for about five minutes and then I went in and kind of like turned my meatballs so they can be a little bit more round because I feel like these ones in here, they're round and it has like the flat bottom. So hopefully these will be a little bit more round. So yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off, add them in with these, put some more meatballs on here and continue to boil my sauce. So I think it's pretty much all coming together. So once I'm ready to combine the sauce with the meatballs, I will let you guys know, and I'm pretty excited. So if you guys are excited about this cooking vlog as I am, give this video a thumbs up because when you guys make it, it's so delicious. All right guys, so I'm gonna continue to mix this and I will be back with you guys. All right, fam bam, so I just finished up the last batch of meatballs, and I'm so excited because I'm really, really hungry. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pour all these meatballs into the remaining meatballs that we have here. And I already did a taste test, and they taste so good, right babe? Oh, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> not yet. So I'm just gonna simply pour this on here. I still feel like this is not enough sauce, but I did text my cousin Valerie and she said she doesn't double or uh, like add, make extra, so hopefully it is enough. I'm just gonna pour a little bit. Mmm, so good. And then mix it and then I'll pour some more. I'm gonna add the remaining sauce. And I think we're gonna be good to go. Oh my God, the spoon's really hot. It's like burning my fingers. <laughs> Ow. All right, I think that's enough mixing there. What I actually had done on the side, I just made some white rice. Super easy in um, my rice cooker. So I always just have a little bit of rice on here in my bowl. And then top it with the meatballs, guys. I'm like really so excited right now because I'm so hungry. And that's it, guys. Mmm, the sauce is so good. I'm really, really like happy right now because <laughs> it's delicious. That's it. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and dig in because it looks so good. Mmm. Mmm. Food's ready, babe. 
<laughs> Good, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and serve the hubby and enjoy our dinner. All right guys, so like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and serve the rest of my family. My mother-in-law is here too, so I know she likes these meatballs as well. Meatballs. But before we do close out this vlog, we do have to give our post notification shout out. And that goes to Jessica Garcia. Shout out to you girl, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for putting hashtag done below. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys have to do, one, subscribe to our YouTube channel. To hit that little bell button so that way every time we post you guys will get notified. And when you guys are done, just comment down below, hashtag done. Also, if you guys do want to try this meatball, we will put the link down in the description. You guys really have to try this recipe because it is so good. It's one of my favorites. And my kids also love it. And I know kids are like super picky. Layla loves it. Elijah loves it. So go try it. If you guys did like watching me do these vlog cooking vlogs, let me know down below. I will post more if you guys say so. Give this video a big thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. We love you, fam bam. Bye!